You are listening to Book Clips, a mini podcast where authors and narrators introduce you to lesbian fiction. You can find a bio link and more information about this book in the show notes. Enjoy! Hi, my name's Claire Lydon and this is an extract from my brand new novel, Twice in a Lifetime, which is out now and available on Amazon. This is the first chapter, so I hope you enjoy. Sally McCall had a fear of water, and that was mainly her Aunt Paula's fault. Scratch that, it was solely her Aunt Paula's fault. Sally was a scant five years old when her aunt, then twenty, picked her up and threw her into the hotel swimming pool. Unfortunately, before checking if the young Sally could swim. She still remembered the shiny blue tiles of the swimming pool wall as she was rudely plunged underwater, the muffled shouts from above, along with the fizzing panic as her tiny limbs worked overtime to save her. When Sally's dad, Rick, dragged her to the surface, his strong arms clamped firmly around her waist and Sally flapping like a sardine, she recalled her mum gesticulating wildly at Paula her pistachio green swimsuit clinging to her slender frame. After coughing up her excess water, Sally had sat wrapped in a soft towel on her mum's lap, the sky bright blue as if it were illuminated, the thud of her mum's heartbeat in her ear. One of the other memorable times Sally had met her aunt was ten years later, when she was sitting with her dad's family in a fancy restaurant to celebrate his birthday. At the awkward age of fifteen, Sally was shy, and dealing with only her third ever period, still not quite believing this was due to happen to her every month for the next 40 years. Surely some cruel mistake. That day, Aunt Paula had barreled in late and giving her a crushing hug, before asking, in a voice that could have carried right across Lake Michigan, whether or not she'd had sex yet. Sally had died on the spot. So now, sitting opposite her dad in her favourite New York City steakhouse nearly 20 years later, Sally was understandably hesitant about his news. All around her, servers rushed by, balancing eye-level silver trays stacked with New York strip loins and skirt steaks, the air seared with the smell of roasted meat and silky gravy. She wants to meet me for lunch. The woman had tried to drown me before my life had even begun. Sally was still scared of water to this day, which had affected her life and relationships too. The Hawaiian vacation with Casey. Mexico with her friend Taylor. Even the lake house all those years ago with Harriet. She blew out a long breath, tasting Harriet's sunscreen on her lips, before shaking her head, bringing herself back to the moment. With Harriet, the memories were so vivid, the feelings called up as if on speed dial. You know Paula, she's excitable, her dad replied, swishing his red red wine around his tall glass. He took a sip and nodded his head in approval. She is an excitable menace, Sally said. Try being a brother, you got off easy. Sally smiled at that. Her dad was laid back to the point of being horizontal, and she couldn't imagine what he'd gone through having a sister like Paula. Even though he was 12 years older, Paula had been born a crazy whirlwind, kicking up a storm that had never died down. Why did she want to see me? She's been living abroad for so long now. As soon as Paula was old enough, she'd fled her home to work on cruise ships, returning on a very irregular basis. Sally had heard muttered tales of her investing in property, but nothing more. From what she told me, she's got a business proposition for you, so it might be worth taking this meeting, honey. It sounds like she's got money burning a hole in her pocket, and she's coming back to the US for good and wants to settle in Chicago and get to know her family. And that includes you, her beloved niece. Beloved niece? Sally was pretty sure she'd never been that to Paula because Paula had never really stuck around long enough to get to know her. That sounds ominous, she said. Plus, I live in New York, in case you hadn't noticed. As if emphasising the point, a yellow cab slammed on its brakes to the right of the leather booth they were seated in, the driver honking his horn and gesturing out the car window. 
you didn't get that in Chicago. Her dad smiled, rubbing his hand over his grey stubble. They both shared the same strawberry blonde hair, the subject of much teasing when she was in school, but now a colour she'd embraced. I'm not sure anybody's ever told Paula that, no, but you could try. He gave her a grin. I'm picking her up from her hair when she flies in next month. I did offer to come along to break your fall, but she was insistent. She wants to get to know you without me being there, so I have to respect that. Their steaks arrived, garnished with beernets and fries, their waiter topping up their wine before leaving them to it with a smile. Sally's stomach growled as she picked up her knife and made the first incision. It was perfectly pink, just the way she liked it. You think she's going to try and drown me again? Sally asked. Make a reservation somewhere pool-free. That cuts down your odds, her dad replied. What have you got to lose? She's offering to help you out, and you've always turned down offers of help from me and your mum. But if Paula gives you money, look at it as payback for all that childhood trauma she put you through. Sally laughed, chewing her steak before replying. You know mum's going to go crazy though, right? Only if you tell her, her dad replied. Sally chuckled, thinking of all the times her mum had berated her dad. He hated confrontation, so he'd always back down. Of course, it wasn't an issue anymore now they were divorced. So I'll tell Paula it's a yes? Sally nodded, resisting her need to be independent. Maybe her dad was right. Paula owed her, and God knows she could use the money. Tell her it's a yes, she said. Just name the time and place, and preferably in New York. Some of us have work to do. That's the opening chapter from my brand new novel, Twice in a Lifetime, out now on Amazon. I hope you enjoy. This was an episode of Book Clips, a mini podcast where authors and narrators introduce you to new books with a short reading. Get the book now by clicking on the buy link in the show notes. This link works for Amazon US, UK and Canada. If you use our links, we earn a small commission from Amazon. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to this podcast.